Movies are meant to elicit emotion, and the slaying of a character we've spent an hour getting to know is a heartbreaking tragedy we're all familiar with. The following heartbreaking movie deaths are tough to sit through and even more difficult to forget. Here are some of the saddest passing scenes in film and TV. Jenny Curran, Forrest Gump, 1994. Forrest Gump is considered one of Tom Hanks's best movies, and his portrayal of the main character has never been forgotten. The film also includes an emotional death when Jenny Curran passes away. One Redditor wrote, Poor Forrest. His monologue at her grave, starting, You died on a Saturday. I can't watch that without tearing up. Jenny and Forrest become pals when they are young, and then get married later on. While it isn't said in the film, fans know that Jenny dies of HIV based on discussions in the years since the movie was released. It's awful watching Forrest lose someone who meant so much to him. Brooks Hatlin, The Shawshank Redemption, 1994. The heart-wrenching moment in The Shawshank Redemption when Brooks Holton dies. The fan wrote, The letter he reads about how the world has changed is so sad. The world went and got itself in a big asterisk monhurry. Brooks is the elderly prison librarian featured in The Shawshank Redemption. He has been in prison since the early 1900s and is finally released in 1954, when the film takes place. However, sadly, he finds that he no longer knows how to function in the outside world and tragically dies. Not only is it unfortunate, but it is also a very real thing that happens in the world. John Coffey, The Green Mile, 1999. The Green Mile is one of the most popular movies adapted from a Stephen King novel, and one of the most somber as well. Nearly everyone who has seen The Green Mile has sobbed at the passing of John Coffey, Michael Clark Duncan. John Coffey is a black man who lived during the Jim Crow era, in a time of extreme prejudice. He is falsely accused of a crime, but it becomes abundantly clear during the movie that Coffey is not a criminal, and in fact, he is a very gentle man. Audiences know that John didn't commit the crimes that he has been charged and sentenced for, and it's horrible to see him be killed. The movie has the strong character development that King is known for and makes fans care so much about John. Thomas J. Sennett, My Girl, 1991 After Home Alone, Macaulay Culkin starred in several movies, including My Girl. He played Thomas J. Sennett, who becomes friends with Vida Saltenfuss, a lonely girl growing up in a funeral home. The death of my girl caught many movie fans off guard. I literally just recovered from this after three years. One traumatized film fan confessed. Another added, I just watched my girl last night, and wow, I didn't remember the story at all, and the ending was just so sad. The Passengers Titanic, 1997. Though the death of Jack, Leonardo DiCaprio, is often regarded as the saddest in Titanic, the deaths of the other nameless passengers to be much sadder, especially the third-class passengers who had no chance of escaping the sinking ship at all, the mom that puts her little children to bed and the elderly couple that lay on the bed together while the water streams into the room. You don't see them drown, but you know they know, they said. What's even sadder is that the elderly couple is based on a real couple by the surname of Strauss, who really did perish on the doomed ocean liner. Dobby, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1, 2010. Dobby, Toby Jones, is one of the most beloved Harry Potter characters due to his comedic introduction and his innocent demeanor. But in the series' penultimate installment, he meets a tragic end. As Dobby disapparates with his friends in tow, Bellatrix Lestrange, Helena Bonham Carter, throws a knife at him, which hits him in the stomach. He bleeds to death in the arms of his best friend on a picturesque beach. Though he feels fulfilled in death, it doesn't make it any less heartbreaking. Rue, The Humber Games, 2012 
while The Hunger Games focuses on the strength and power of Katniss Everdeen. Rue makes a big impression as well. Rue is a tribute from District 11, and she and Katniss decide that they should help each other. One fan wrote, I cried during the movie, then again when I read the book, and once more when they mentioned her in Catching Fire. It's a brutal world where no one is safe, and there's nothing that Rue can do to stop it. The first film in the franchise is one of Amanda Stenberg's best movies because of her strong performance. Leslie Burke, Bridge to Terabithia, 2007 Leslie Burke, Anna Sophia Robb, is Jessie's, Josh Hutcherson, first real friend. She is always encouraging him to be more open-minded and embrace his creative side. They get along so well and maintain an incredibly whimsical relationship. They share an imaginary kingdom together called Terabithia, which can only be accessed by swinging from a rope over a river. One day, when Jesse has other plans for the day, Leslie goes to Terabithia alone. The rope snaps, and she drowns in the river below. Though her death is never shown on screen, it's the reaction of the rest of the characters that really make it depressing. Ali Hamilton and Noel Calhoun, The Notebook, 2004 While every film adaptation of a Nicholas Sparks novel has an emotional storyline, it's gutting to watch Ali Hamilton and Noel Calhoun pass away at the same time at the end of the movie. The film concludes with Ali, who has dementia, suffering a health setback, and Duke having a heart attack. While it's moving that the characters are able to be together in their final moments, it's still a tough scene to watch. The characters have lost so much time together. Ellie Fredrickson, Up, 2009. Up started with a heartbreaking loss early on. One film fan shared how this one is particularly tough for me as he and his wife can't have children and her family history indicates a shorter lifespan. We make the best of things and have only the highest hopes for our futures, they explained, adding how the movie's opening montage feels like a heartbreaking reflection of their life.